what is materials engineering? Well, materials engineering is a very key part of engineering because it underpins a lot of the products and devices that we make. Everything's got uh, a lot of different types of materials in them and we need to uh, look at a whole lot of properties from electrical, mechanical, uh, biological increasingly these days, thermal and so on. So uh, what we're really on about is uh, making materials better, either existing materials better by improving the processes or developing new materials. And that's particularly true these days in uh, biomaterials and nanotechnology which are two of the big tools that we use. The sort of areas we look at are light metals, for example, to make cars lighter, to reduce uh, uh, emissions. Uh, we you look at a lot of work in biomaterials, for example, tissue engineering, where we're trying to uh, solve problems such as neuron degeneration for Parkinson's disease or spinal cord uh, regeneration as well. We uh, do a lot of work in the area of energy, be it generating energy from the sun using new cheaper solar cells that use uh, ceramics and also we look at uh, ways of storing hydrogen which is important for fuel cells and other sorts of cars. An increasing area of research that uh, filters all the way through of course to our undergraduate courses in the area of nanotechnology and nanomaterials where we're manipulating materials at the size scale of a couple of atoms and uh, we have devices that can manipulate them but importantly we also have devices that can look at them. Materials engineering is a very fundamental part of engineering that pervades most industries. Most of our students get jobs in the first half of their final year because the skills that they learn are very generic. In materials engineering we do aspects of chemistry, physics, mathematics and biology. It's all self-taught within the course and this gives the people the, the ability to work across a whole wide range of different areas. I think engineering is a very exciting area to go into. It makes use of all the fundamental sciences, I guess chemistry, increasingly biology, mathematics and physics, and it's really about making things, about making things which cause a difference. There's so many challenges that we have in society these days in terms of energy, water, and all of these are tackled largely by engineers. So next time you see an engineered product, think of what it's actually made of. Is it made out of twigs? Is it made out of Vegemite? It's actually made from a very carefully designed nanostructure down to the atomic scale, giving the right contribution of strength and toughness. If you've ever wondered about issues such as why is my computer speed limited by a silicon chip, or how amazing is it that we can carry so many portable electronics in a handbag, or what can I do to transform biomedical engineering, or even how can we use the world's resources in the best possible way? Then think about the opportunities you will have as a materials engineer. You can transform the way in which industry produces things like jet engines, like one project here currently at Monash. Or you can 3D print your favourite shoes. Or you can even 3D print a scalp repair. Materials engineers, make it happen.